An old Asian proverb says, if you fall down seven times, stand up eight. Most every athlete of any merit has survived a challenge of one kind or another. Central Florida can boast a competitor who's at the top of her sport, but it will require a climb from desperate death to take her back. Three times, girl. I still feel like I'm high up. She's but. like a fish out of water, learning to swim again. One lift at a time, world wakeboarding champion Dallas Friday fights her way back from a setback that nearly cost her more than her career. October 2006 and the World Wakeboarding Championships in Singapore. That's a splash through the waves this Central Floridian will never forget. The most successful female athlete in her sport suffered a massive spiral fracture of her femur, basically a broken thigh in nine painful places. Her freak crash on the water brought up further complications and left her with two collapsed lungs and floating past death's doorstep. When I fell, I was conscious the whole time, never blacked out. The thoughts that ran through my head is, first off, I broke my femur. Am I gonna be able to walk again and ride again? They hit me when I got the call uh, the next day that the desperate call that Dallas uh, is not breathing. She's in intensive care and she's hooked up to a respirator and she cannot breathe on her own. It's required grit and gusto, but Dallas is determined to come back. Since January, this Orlando Rehabilitation Center has become home for the five-time defending national champion. So is this lake near her true home. The temptation to surrender arrives at times, but this winter won't be washed away. She's come a long way. She's still got a little further to go. I mean, if I wasn't in rehab, I know I wouldn't be near uh, as quick as the recovery and doing the things and riding that I want to do. She's, she's mentally pretty tough. I mean, to get out and do what she does is, is a big challenge, just to flip and spin and the, and the torque. If you ever watch those, watch the wakeboarders, they put on their bodies and their knees and landing is amazing. All this time with the weights and the rehabilitation seems to be paying off for Dallas. In fact, Friday has already spent part of her summer competing in a national wakeboarding event. And wouldn't you know, she finished second overall. That suggests that much of the challenge for Friday is using faith in physical rehab to overcome fear of future injury. How tough do you have to be to get through this? Um, I don't think it's how tough. I think it's more how bad do you want it and how, how bad do you want to be best in the world again. And you know, that's the biggest thing because if you don't want that, then there's no point of trying. Dallas will attempt to complete her comeback next week. She goes for her sixth consecutive National Wakeboarding Championship starting next Wednesday in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Good luck to her.